Hello there, this is Chad. I'm going to talk a bit about dealing with poor communicators. Dealing with poor communicators, particularly with people who you have to work for, can be very frustrating, but it can be remedied. Recently, I had a client. I'm an illustrator. I'm an artist, so I have freelance clients. I've done this for years. I work and live in Hollywood, California. I've worked in the film industry. I've worked in several different sectors of the film industry. And in general, I've had to handle all kinds of people. Particularly of note are people who are difficult to deal with. I should probably move. <laughs> okay. I probably could have stayed standing there, but I moved anyway. Anyway. This one client recently, he's a building contractor. And I actually should move now because the car is coming this direction. I'm going to move over here. He's a building contractor. Nice guy. Actually, he's an architect. He's an architect and a building contractor. He needed me to draw conceptual, basically set renderings of a new construction he's adding on to a house. It's a big house. The client's very wealthy. The client wants to have an idea of what their room will look like before he goes to work. So not normally versed in terms of architecture or building contracting. More, more accustomed to Hollywood terms, like movie terms. I walk in there and he th starts throwing at me all these terms, these architectural terms, these building contractor terms, terms about pass-through walls. Um, I don't even remember what he said. Lots of things like this. And he kept talking and talking. And after he was done talking, I had no idea what the hell the guy said. No idea what he said. Then I said, excuse me, what? And then he tries to explain it again, but it's in the same jargon, the same terminology. I didn't understand it. I had no idea. So I, I took notes and showed him my notes, and he said, yeah. I go home, do the drawings, email him the drawings that night, and we have a phone meeting the next day. And I had done the drawing incorrectly. It was almost right, but I had misplaced some of the furniture in the drawing. And then he goes, and he's very nice, but he says, no, I meant this and this and this, and, I, and he's talking in those terms again. I didn't understand him. And I said, look, David, I don't really understand anything you're saying, and I apologize. It would really help me if you were to take my drawing I did, print it out, make red line marks all over it, correct it for me, show me where things need to actually be, even make notes on it, and then scan it and email it to me, and I'll make sure that I do this for you correctly. And he did. He emailed me the drawing. I changed it, and everything was great. Had I not said that, had I just kept guessing, the situation would have melted down I would have done more and more changes trying to understand a guy instead of challenging him politely, but challenging him, which is what you should do. Challenge the people who are poor communicators. Otherwise, they'll make your life a living hell. You're going to try to understand what they say again and again. Don't be afraid to challenge them. Hold them accountable for what they say, and then things will be much, much better. Click on the links below the video and just explore this further. Have a good night.